Hello everyone and welcome back to Amity Bloom. Today's video is a lovely collaboration with the wonderful Meg Journals for Junk Journal July. The prompt that I chose was a letter to myself and I knew that that was going to work perfectly with the journal that I'm currently creating. This is a personal journal that I'm making for myself. I have a video on how I created this in the Artist in Bloom style. But inside of this journal, I am going to be documenting to my past, my present self, and my future self. I was really inspired by this idea to write a letter to yourself in a really beautiful way, a really special way. But writing letters to your past, your present, and your future self. Using magazine pages, stamps, ephemera pieces to document certain elements. We all have our pasts, we all are living in the present, and of course we all have a future ahead of us. I'm going to be using the Letter to Myself Digital Kit, which comes with a beautiful envelope that has a really sweet little closure that we're going to create together. I printed these so that they're essentially like little tags or bookmarks. In the digital kit, you can print them in the full form so that you can fold the letter and include it in your envelope. I like that everything is neutral so that you can then add the color using magazine pages, which is the fun part about all of this. Use these little tags as kind of like an introduction to your page and then collage on your page, creating little floating pockets using these sentiments as the inspiration and then placing them within your journal or within the book that you're currently using. So to create our pockets, obviously our envelope, all I had to do was print it and just cut around. On the back, I printed one of my neutral French invoices it's a digital kit that's in my shop. All I have to do is fill up the envelope and then do a really sweet closure. So we're gonna put this aside. The floating pockets are going to be used to hold our letter paper and our sentiment tags. Here are just some of my neutral papers from that digital kit. I love using them as a base. I have some magazine pages. This one is from Somerset Studio. Not only do you get sentiments that you can cut out, you get really cool imagery. And the artist is Kim Collister. She's a mixed media artist. And these are her collage tags, which I love them. These artworks have sentiments on there with these stitching lines. It already has that little bit of mixed media in it that adds a lot to your collages. So I love using pages like these. There's just something about the little kitties, but this painting, the flowers, the lamp, and I want to turn this into some kind of floating pocket. Fold my magazine pages up a little bit, fold this over. Kind of like a little booklet. Do you see how pretty that looks? It's so sweet. This is a piece of fabric. Pass it through my sewing machine. Create kind of like a little spine to the floating pocket. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and I'm going to extend my paper. Fold this over just a little bit. Now you have a little flap. I'm going to take this tag that I absolutely love and we're going to glue it right along this little flap here. And then on the back, you're going to match up the same tag, just like so. I absolutely love how simple and easy it is to create a little flip with a double tag. And just like with our other floating pocket, I wanna take a little bit of fabric. So this is some French fabric. I'm thinking about turning this fabric into washi. I love it so much. The pattern is so beautiful. I just finished passing our ephemera pieces, our pockets, through the sewing machine. I stitched on the fabric and it looks beautiful. And then the sentiment is on the back. Then of course I had to add a little bit of a ruffle to make it feminine and to go with the color palette of my journal. So I hole punched the tags. And I want to add a little bit of some ribbon. So we have our little bow. I know I want to use this one for my future self. These roses, the colors, they're very sentimental to me because of what I imagine for myself in the future. I'm going to be a rose that's a little bit more withered, but it's going to have so much essence in her petals. And the beauty and the essence of maturity. I think I'm just going to attach it with some washi tape for now because I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. And this is some of our washi tape. A beautiful pink French script. I love this tape so much. So now I want to take some stamps. I love, love, love bird stamps. Maybe because I have a bird. <laughs> 
my family, we have many birds, so every time I see anything with birds, I always buy it. I always have, you know, birds have a really sweet place in my heart, so our little birdie stamp is stamped behind, behind there. That's so sweet. I can also remove this if I wanted to, but this is going to be going into my journal. And my writing and my little picture can hide behind there. For our pocket page, I want to add a sentiment. I want to grab it from this magazine. I just glued the sentiments on a space where I thought they fit really well. A little butterfly to land on the flowers. She finally grasps what is really her own. This one is dedicated to my present self. And then I have my tag. The present moment is the only moment available to us. It is the door to all moments. So we're just going to put this in the pocket page. Now all we have to do is our envelope. So let's move on to the envelope. A letter to myself. All I have to do, since I already cut it, is I just need to fold it along the edges. I'm going to put this aside. I want to put in this one a letter to myself. This is to my past self. I saved this sentiment that I actually typed on my typewriter. My parents gifted me a typewriter probably five to seven years ago. This is one of the first sentiments that I typed on that typewriter. She lifted herself from the roots and with them she bloomed into what no one believed was possible. And I just typed this on this scrap piece of paper that I found on my desk. I've always saved this little piece of paper because of what it means to me, the symbolism behind it. This is my past self, and I was writing about what I believed. And I want to create this sweet little sentiment into a tag. A little tag that I'm going to put in the envelope along with my writing. So, I have one of my digital papers here, my script papers, that tends to match the color palette of, I believe this was tea stained paper. And all I want to do is take my sentiment page that's now seven years old. <laughs> it's so funny when you find little elements of papers like this, that this is something from my past, from the past, that I now can read, enjoy, think about. And then I want to leave little mementos like this for my future self to find. I have this really old strip of wallpaper borders. I have so many wallpaper borders in my collection. You guys know I love my roses. So I want to add this right on the bottom. I think that'll look really beautiful. Fold it and tear it apart. And don't worry, I have already scanned this. I always scan my wallpapers because you know they're so old. I only use real wallpaper in my artwork when I'm doing something that means a lot to me. And I would like to turn this into a pocket, but because it's real wallpaper, it's very fragile. So we're just going to glue it on. If it was a digital, then I definitely would turn this into a little pocket. Cut and trim this part off. So now I want to cover up this little green part. I have no idea what scrap of paper I used, you know, seven years ago, but I want to cover that up. I don't really enjoy the look of it. This is another little butterfly stamp that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, but you can definitely find them online. I always get little bird stamps and I always get butterfly stamps because of the symbolism that it represents for me. A butterfly represents a metamorphosis, a change, either you in a person or a change of the environment. You know, they transform from a little caterpillar to a little butterfly. It's really beautiful. So here, I'm just going to position the little butterfly so that I can hide little leaf design. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but this is some sparkly mesh tool. And I just want to add it as a little ruffle right along the edge here. Do you see that little shimmer and sparkle in the fabric? If I cover it up, do you see? It looks like little pixie dust. And that's what I love. It's like the little butterfly left a little sparkle. And when she lifted herself up from the roots, little pixie dust fell from her wings onto the petals of the flowers. 
Now we're going to put all of this together. My little letter sheet doesn't fit exactly, so we're just going to cut off of the excess. So now my page actually fits within my envelope. I think what I'm going to do is on the back of the tag, I'm going to put a picture of myself from seven years ago, which is when this sentiment was written. I'm going to use washi tape because I still don't know if I want to permanently close this or not. I'm thinking of maybe leaving it open and then creating pockets on the inside later. So this is some of our washi tape, our beautiful French script washi. Right in the middle of our envelope, I want to put these sweet pieces so that you can see them when you close your little envelope. And the reason why we have these little areas where you can hole punch is because the closure to this envelope I want it to be either some ribbon, a little bit of sari trim, or you could also use twine if you wanted to. I'm just going to pass it through. Let's just tie a little bow. So a letter to yourself, and then on the back, your little ephemera pieces. And you could just keep it like this, with the washi and the closure like this. Looks very beautiful. And I think on here, just because I love stamping, I also purchased this sweet little heart stamp. So these are the three project pieces that we created, all of them pockets, one in an envelope form, one in a pocket page, and one as an interactive flip page that has a little text spot where you can add your journaling. This is my version of a letter to myself. It doesn't just have to be a traditional letter in an envelope. You can turn your envelope into an interactive little ephemera pocket. You can create a pocket page where you can put your writings within the pockets of your beautiful page, add sentiments, add imagery that represents you. So it's essentially a little booklet of yourself. And especially since you're writing to yourself, it's more symbolic. And of course, have fun. Use colors that you love, use imagery that you love. Create little flips and tucks and put little special peekaboos in there to find for later. Things that represent you. I love this because in this way, I want to actually journal. Or you can be more traditional by simply writing a letter to yourself. You don't have to get fancy. I just love showing you different versions of how you can document and write a letter to yourself in a really beautiful way that's not intimidating. You let imagery and sentiments tell the story to help you write that letter to yourself. And then, of course, you leave some areas for you to actually journal to your past, your present, and your future self. And now I can't wait to start writing in my little pocket pages, in my interactive little flips, and then look at how it would look like inside of my journal. So stunning, so beautiful. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this project. I encourage all of you to participate in Junk Journal July as every day there's a special prompt. There's so much inspiration out there. Definitely make sure you go and check out all of the other artists involved. And I will leave the link below to all of the information if you would love to join. If you want to create the same exact layout, I have all of the digitals that I used. I will link them below. And for the washi tapes that I used, our bloom tape, we are working on a restock for those who would love to include beautiful little washi tapes in your artworks. If you create your own letter to yourself and you want to create a letter to your past, your present, and your future, make sure you tag me so I see how you create your own special projects. I'd love to see how you guys make it your own as all of us have different stories to be told and every person's letter will look special and different and unique to them, which is the beauty of creating your own art and writing in your own words. So until next time, I hope that you have an incredible day wherever you are. I hope that you're left a little bit more inspired than when you first started. I'm sending you so much peace and so much love.